Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, we'll be talking about knees. Nope, that's not a mistake, I said knees. We'll be looking at why compressors have this weird random body part control, the knee, and how you can use it to kind of level up your compression game. So the knee is something that gets ignored a lot. I've seen countless YouTube videos where the, the instructor just kind of glosses over it or completely ignores the knee. And I think that's for a specific reason. So I'm not trying to put anyone down with that. I think it's because not all compressors have a knee control but all compressors do have a knee. So for instance, I have two emulations pulled up made by Native Instruments. We have the VC2A and the VC76. This is an emulation of a, of a tube compressor called a LA2A, and this is a vintage, uh, this is an emulation of a vintage compressor called a 11, an 1176. This is an FET compressor. Now, both of these are known for being good on certain sources, and part of that is obviously because one of them's tube, one of them's FET. But another determining factor is going to be one has a different knee versus the other. So for instance, the LA-2A has a frequency dependent soft knee, whereas the 1176 has a hard knee at, at a ratio of 20 and all. And then it has, I believe, a medium to kind of soft knee, but more of a medium knee at the lower ratio. All right, so for the remainder of the video, I'm gonna be using the FabFilter Pro C2, mainly because, well, it's also one of my favorite compressors, but mainly because the knee section of the GUI is luxuriously large. It'll be easy for you guys to see and hear what's going on. With a knee control, you're gonna hear two other terms often, hard and soft. So that you can have a hard knee setting or a soft knee. Now, the reason this thing's called a knee in the first place is because a hard knee looks like a bent knee. I don't know why they kept it for soft because it's just a curved line. Anywho, the knee is always gonna be tied to the threshold of the compressor when you can tweak it. Just like the threshold works in a decibel value, so too does the knee. Now, a lot of people confuse the knee with the tack. Well, the attack is working in the time domain milliseconds, whereas the knee works, like I said, in decibels. I think of the knee as basically the attack before the attack. It's the attack of the threshold. And it's basically telling the compressor, okay, how fast, once the threshold's crossed, do we actually go from no compression to full, full compression. Now, of course, the compressor is still gonna look at your ratio and your attack, but with a hard knee, when you have this bent line, it's saying as soon as the audio passes this line in decibels, the compression can be turned on to its maximum. Again, that just depends on how you have your ratio, ratio and attack set. So now a soft knee, if we change this here, we'll see the line curve. And this is going to apply the compression gradually until the full transition from uncompressed to compressed audio has been reached. So again, it's gonna look at your threshold ra ratio and attack. And this is gonna give it a much smoother, less abrupt sound. Now this has a lot of potential ramifications on how you you know compress the sound. So for instance, let's say I have a vocal and it's a ballad, it's a folk song, it's a chill song, a relaxed song, right? And the singer's not belting anything. I wouldn't want a hard knee, right? I would rather use a soft knee because it will allow me to set my, my threshold lower so I can tame more peaks and transients, but it won't kill and suck the life out of the track. Now compare that with like a, a rap track or, or a hip hop track where I'm working with maybe a, a really energetic, vibrant rapper or vocalist, and there's some plosive material with the transients. I'd probably wanna work more with a hard knee or something closer to it. That's why I love this variable control because then I can really dial in the play between the threshold and the knee and the ratio. All right, so I pulled in a guitar loop and it's a loop that I made that needs some love, actually. I actually need to go through and, and mix this a little bit cleaner. So this specific loop I used to pick on, and I got a little bit overzealous on some of the hits, and we can see that here in this blue track, that there's some pretty explosive transients here throughout. Now, the reason why this is important to me is because I don't want to release a loop that is hard for you guys to mix. For instance, you'd have to compress this, or it could clip, or it could trigger some weird balance issues in your mix. So I can use a compressor to dial that in more specifically, I can use a compressor that makes use of a knee control to really get the sound I'm after. So here is the stock, just kind of the, the dry version of this guitar loop. And here is a soft knee version of it. And I use the FabFilter Pro C2 with these settings, but I set the knee to soft. And I bounce that to audio and this is what we get. So an overall redu reduction in volume, but we still have pretty explosive transients. Like nothing's really rounded off. I essentially just wanna shave off some of these hard transients. Now, what I did was I went back into the Pro C2 and I changed the knee from soft to hard. 
and I turn the attack down just a smidge and the release down just a smidge because of the setting on the knee now being hard, so it's gonna react quicker. So bounce that to audio, that's this orange track. Look at the difference between our orange track and our, our original loop. You'll notice that some of the transients are much more rounded. For instance, if we go to this section right here, see that sharp transient right there? That's not present on this one, it's rounded off. So it's gonna make this easier to mix. Take a listen. And the cool thing is because the hard knee allows the compressor to react quicker, is I don't get I don't get much of a pumping sound, right? That I might get otherwise if I had a slower knee. Now with percussive things like drums and obviously percussion uh, it really depends on the sound you after if you're working with a loop or a sample that's just too transient heavy try a hard knee out it's a little bit easier to uh, dial in a more extreme setting to tamp down the transient now if you're just going for a general glued feeling like drums and percussive elements try a softer knee so yeah if you guys all have access to compressors with knee controls i know logic stock one has it ableton does obviously fab filter pro c2 and there's a bunch out there so yeah guys give this a go give it a try i think you'll be surprised pleasantly surprised with the results that you get from it if you have any questions or comments, post those below, and someone from the ADSR team will get back to you as soon as they can. And if you guys are not subscribed to ADSR's YouTube, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.